to go get ready and go take my last two exams. Macroeconomics first and statistics next. I'm in bed just studying all my note cards before I get up and get ready. I need to get up and get coffee. My throat is killing me. So let's hope that I can make it through this a day because after this day I'm dying until January so yeah but happy vlogmas day 10 everybody I woke up like this literally I haven't done anything but anyways I'm getting my coffee right now and want to know what I noticed I went through all this trouble yesterday to get this cookie dough and I didn't even eat any last night and Prega didn't eat any either. Oh, look. We have cinnamon rolls. I'm making these. But first, coffee time. Did it hurt? <laughs> A lot of creamer. Just casually trying to upload a video while I'm getting ready and this little baby comes and puts her little head on my shoulder she's telling me not to go take my exam so I should probably listen to her look at her she wants to be seen she she just winked at y'all oh my gosh oh my gosh She's so cute. But yeah, I'm trying to upload for like the 60th time this video. Oh, yesterday's. The struggle. I should probably get up and continue getting ready. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to my exam. And oh my god, there's a bus going around it. Uh, I don't know if that's illegal or not. But anyways, I'm almost at my exam. I had to stop and get a calculator at Dollar General, no, Dollar Tree, because my stupid macroeconomics teacher doesn't allow graphing calculators, and that's what I have, so I had to go get a little dollar one, and I like went really fast on the way here, so I could get it, oh do you see that behind me? Me and my dad and my sister went to move me out in my dorm last night. Yeah, I live in a dorm. <laughs> well, I did, but some like, some personal stuff happened and I had been living at home and I would just, I couldn't have stayed there and done the things I needed to do at home. So I moved out and it's still back there. But yeah, I got completely dressed today because my sister goes to the baby doctor today and, um, oh my god, a cop just passed by. We're good. She goes to the baby doctor today, and, um, I feel like they're gonna tell her to go into the hospital. It's like a sister's gut feeling, so I got completely ready today just in case I had to, like, go to the hospital after my exams. So, I hope it comes today. He comes today. I'm really excited. So yeah, wish me luck on my exam. So I got done with my exam in like an hour. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It was my macro exam. So I went and got some lunch. Another sub. There's napkins. Sun chips. And I got... I know, a sandwich, so it's starting right. What the heck? That's messy. But really messy but I'm not gonna pull it out right now so I'm gonna make a mess on this camera but I just got a ham and turkey club and a coke oh where's my coffee does anybody else not finish their coffee I have trouble with that but I'm just gonna study for my macro exam probably go to the library there's all my macro I mean my macro my statistics exam eat this go to the library and study and so I'm driving on the interstate right now because things got a little interesting. Um, 
I got done with my exams and I went home and um, I was like, what now? So I'm on my way to surprise Andreas. He doesn't know I'm coming. Uh, Jacksonville, uh, where he lives, it's about a little over five hours. So I got little Lily with me. She's gonna go see her daddy. Um, but yeah, I just decided to go because Margaret, my sister, she's still dilated one centimeter, so it's not really going any, anywhere anytime soon. So, um, I would have just been sticking around for nothing. I was originally supposed to be going on Friday because that's when Lily is supposed to get, like, fixed because she's still a little puppy. So yeah, I'm going to surprise him. And I'm super excited to see his reaction. I was going to originally go tomorrow and surprise him, but I had nothing to do tonight. I was just laying in bed watching other people's vlogs. And so, yeah. Hey, guys. I passed this town. Like, it's not really a town, but it's like a kind of like a mock town right before I pass uh, to get onto the North Carolina border or into North Carolina. It's called South of the Border, and it's like this little Mexican town, and I think it is so freaking cute. But one day, when I'm not in a hurry to be all surprising you, I want to stop there because I want to know what's on in there. But yeah, I just want to show y'all. Really so I'm here, and he has no idea I'm coming. And I'm about to go up and surprise him. First, I gotta take Lily to pee. Come in. Come on. Oh. Lily, it's hard to pick you up. The struggle. Oh, Lily, she won't let me get her. Come on. I know you're scared. Oh. Okay. I gotta let her pee first, though. Cause she'll pee all over his house. On the way here, he was like, I was like, I wish I was cuddling with you. And he said, I know, it's so sad. I wish you were here right now. <sighs> that was five minutes ago. She's going potty. It's cold. She's confused. <laughs> She's taking too long. I'm getting anxious. Okay, finally. Come on, Lily. Come on. Come on. Going up the stairs. Going up the stairs. Lily, that's not his. Lily, this way. Lily. I'm so confused. Okay. Here we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way, baby. So, so, I opened my door to a very special surprise. Turns out she drove six hours, told me she was just at Bilo earlier. But yeah, she's here. And so is Lily. 